Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with I think 20 different discontinued perfumes to share with you. So recently a subscriber requested that I talk about my favorite discontinued fragrances that are in my collection. So I thought today would be the perfect day to do that. Um, somebody is mowing outside and um, I've been trying to wait to film until they're done, but I've only got like a two hour window here before I've got to take Charlotte to the dentist, so I have to get it done now. So hopefully you guys can't hear it, and if you can, I hope it's not too distracting, but um, it seems like it only gets close every once in a while, so we'll see. But anyways, let me jump right into it. I've got 20 different fragrances here. Um, I am also going to see, so in this video, I'm going to put the notes on the screen for you instead of reading them out. You guys let me know what you prefer. If you prefer uh, that I read them out to you, I absolutely will. If you guys prefer for me to just put them on the screen, I can do that too. Um, I thought let's just give it a try and see and I can ask you guys what you prefer. Um, I'm down for whatever. So anyways, let me jump right in. So the first one is a celebrity fragrance. This is a beautiful fragrance. I don't know why it was discontinued. This is JLo Glowing, and this is a gorgeous, like, kind of light, slightly green. It's not too much of anything. Like, I, I don't even know how I would categorize this one. It's not super floral, though I think it does have some flowers in it, but it's not like an overly floral fragrance. Um, it's just beautiful. It's, it's slightly sweet, slightly green, a little bit floral, light, clean, very clean smelling. A little bit watery smelling it's just a beautiful fragrance and my bottle still lights up so I love that a lot of people uh, that I know that have this fragrance have said that their bottles don't light up anymore and I'm so excited that actually when I spray this my bottle still lights up so anyways this is one of my favorite discontinued celebrity fragrances I just think it's beautiful I wish they would bring it back um, I don't wear mine too often because I'm, I don't want to run out of it. So not that I would ever probably run out of a perfume at this point, but I don't know. I'm just sparing with this. So that is JLo Glowing. The next one is a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance, and this is one that Simona sent over a decant of. This has been discontinued, and this is an amber fragrance, and it is so beautiful. I had to track down a bottle. I paid... I paid a good price for this because it's discontinued, but I had to have it. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier Squared or Two. Um, it's a, just a gorgeous amber fragrance. It's got that kind of Jean-Paul Gaultier DNA to it. It's... It's just beautiful. It's just... Ugh, it's a beautiful amber sweet it's super simple it's like most Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances they it doesn't have very many notes in it it's like vanilla and I don't even know super simple like I say I'll, I'll have the notes on the screen for you guys but uh just a gorgeous amber fragrance I don't know why they discontinued this one they always discontinue the best fragrances. So that is Jean-Paul Gaultier too. Uh, next, we have a Stella McCartney fragrance. I adore this. I found this bottle for really inexpensive on Mercari. I think I paid like $25 for it, which I snapped it up as soon as I could. This is Stella Nude and oh my gosh, I love this. This is like, uh, this is Stella, but it's got, I know this one has like Madagascar vanilla in it. And it's got something in the top. Um, I can't remember exactly what it is, but so, so beautiful. It's just a gorgeous Stella flanker. I hate that it's been discontinued. This one's really, really hard to find too. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad I have a bottle of that. That is Stella Nude. Darn, this lawnmower. <laughs> 
Okay, this next one has not technically been discontinued, but it's been reformulated into Oblivion and it's not its not even the same name anymore. But this is the very first formulation of Christian Dior, uh, Miss Dior Shuri. And this is the Eau de Parfum version. This has got strawberry and a caramel popcorn note in it. It's so stunning. I hate that they reformulated this and th this one is really, really hard to find. It's very, very expensive as well. So I'm so glad I have this huge bottle um, that will last me my lifetime because yeah, this is like not in existence anymore. I mean, well, you know what I mean. It's very, very hard to find. Um, there are not too many bottles of this circulating anymore, and I'm just so happy to have this. So this is uh, Miss Dior Cherie from Dior. And again, not technically discontinued, but yes, it is discontinued. So anyways, love that one. Next is another celebrity fragrance. This one I think has been discontinued, but it is still circulating in the market, especially in Canada. Um, you can find it on Canadian perfume websites. This is Madonna Truth or Dare Naked. This is another gorgeous amber. Ugh, this is like a nutty amber almost though. This has got like a nuttiness to it. It's it's gorgeous. It's a really unique amber, especially in my collection of amber fragrances. Uh, it's just a stunner. And yeah, you can still find this. Again, it can be quite expensive and it is pretty difficult to find. Um, but if you look on the Canadian websites, that's usually where you can find it. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure if this one is discontinued. I think it is. Oh my gosh, I love it. So anyways, that is Madonna Truth or Dare Naked. So I've got a bunch of Guerlain in this group because there just have been so many Guerlain fragrances that are so gorgeous that have been discontinued. Um, this first one is Eau de Chalamar and this one is super hard to find. I only got this bottle because uh, my friend Jennifer from Perfume Collection and Reviews, she had two bottles of this and I had two bottles of uh, Parfum Initial and so we swapped and um, that's the only way I was able to find this because it's so hard to find but this is a gorgeous flanker of Shalimar. It's got iris and vanilla. It's soft. It's slightly powdery. It still has the citruses in the top. It is quite similar to Shalimar Cologne but this has the iris in it that Shalimar Cologne doesn't have, and Shalimar Cologne is more citrus heavy. But this is a gorgeous fragrance, and again, very difficult to find. Um, if you ever come across a bottle of this, which you can every once in a while, but uh, if you ever do, definitely snap it up if you're into fragrances like this because, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. So that is Eau de Shalimar from, uh, sorry, from Guerlain. Okay, next we have a Burberry fragrance, and I recently came across another bottle of this on Mercari, and I'm like, oh, do I want to buy it? I need to buy it because I don't have much left in this bottle. This is Burberry Brit Red, and this is such a beautiful fragrance. This doesn't smell like much in the bottle, but what it does on your skin, like if you have chemistry that works with this, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This is like a gourmand rhubarb fragrance. This reminds me of Christmas time. It is the most beautiful like fall winter scent. Ugh, so if you like rhubarb, I think you would really like this one, but this is more of like a, um, a cold weather rhubarb fragrance. It's so beautiful. And like I say, I just found another bottle of this on Mercari and somebody is selling it for like $20. I need to get it before somebody else snaps it up. It's so beautiful. So that is Burberry Brit Red. Next, we have another celebrity fragrance. This one I'm pretty darn sure is continued, um, is discontinued. This is one I'm not sure. I, I'll tell you something, you guys. There are so many perfumes that I have thought were discontinued, and then people are like, no, that's not discontinued. You can still get it. And I'm like, oh, I'm a dummy. I don't know why I thought it was discontinued. So um, I'm pretty sure everything on this list has been discontinued, but there are a couple I'm iffy about. This is one of them. I'm pretty sure it's been discontinued though. This is Justin Bieber, The Key, and this is so good. You can still find this on eBay for 
pretty darn inexpensive. This is the most beautiful, perfect, clean, sweet, shampoo-y fragrance I think that I have in my collection. It's hands down my favorite shampoo-like fragrance. Oh, I just love it. But this is another one that um, I think it's getting harder and harder to find this for a decent price. So if you want it, definitely like snap it up now while it's still relatively inexpensive. So that is Justin Bieber, the key. Next, we have one that I didn't even know was being discontinued until uh, Melissa Jean here on YouTube talked about this. She has a huge like five ounce bottle of it. Um, this is Ralph Lauren Tender Romance and this is the most beautiful, yummy pear fragrance. Oh my gosh, it smells like just sweet pears, like sweet spiced pears but not like a lot of spice. It's not like heavy spices or anything, but it's just, it's so good. So yummy. This one is getting more, more and more difficult to find. So if you're, you know, into it, you might want to definitely snap it up while you can, because eventually this will just leave the market totally. Ugh, yummy pears. So that is Ralph Lauren Tender Romance. Uh, this next one is like one of the great loves of my life and I am so sad. This one is very difficult to find. This is another Guerlain. This is Guerlain My Insolence. I have this bottle which is a half is half full and then I do have a backup bottle of this. Thank goodness. Uh, thank goodness I have these. This is another one that I'm scared to wear because it's like I don't want to... I don't want to be without it, but this was about three quarters full when I bought it and it's down to like half full now. This reminds me a lot of, I mean, this smells so much more expensive than it was when it was out. It reminds me of something from their like high end line, like Angelique Noir, like those types of fragrances. This one reminds me a lot of French Kiss actually. Um, they have similar notes. This is strawberry and lemon. I think um, French Kiss is like raspberry and lemon. I think this has got some almond in it. Uh, I remember looking at the notes and the notes being very, very similar for this and French Kiss. And I also did test these side by side and they are really similar because I do have like a little um, like four mil sample of French Kiss. Very similar. This is beautiful. It's like a, like I say, like a citrus and berry um, fragrance in the top. And then it's got, I think it's got a little bit of almond in it and vanilla. It's so, so good. Really, really difficult to find at this point, but probably my, my most favorite fragrance on this list and definitely like one of my most favorite fragrances of life, really. So uh, that is Girl on My Insolence. Uh, next, it took me so long to track down this bottle and I finally have a bottle of this and I'm so happy to have it. This is Love Chloe from Chloe and this is just a beautiful, slightly powdery, or well, kind of powdery, more than slightly, but not like, it's not overly powdery, but it's a little bit more than like slightly powdery. It's gorgeous. I love this fragrance. I hunted for this forever because you can still find this, but it is very, very expensive. People are usually asking more than $200 for a bottle of this. And I found this as well as the floral one. Um, I found them both for under a hundred dollars. So I, as soon as I saw this, I snapped it up. It was a partial bottle when I got it, but it's in really, really good condition. It still smells amazing. And yeah, I just love this. I am a lover of all Chloe fragrances though. I just adore Chloe. So um, this is no exception. So that is Love Chloe. Next we have a, a Giorgio Armani fragrance. And I almost didn't even put this in and wasn't going to talk about this fragrance because I don't know how to pronounce the name properly. Um, and people seriously, like I've never had more people get more triggered over the fact that I can't pronounce something than when I talk about this fragrance. Um, 
I know one of them is called Aqua de Jo, and this one has got to be different because it's got an IA at the end. I don't know if it's Aqua de Joa or Aqua de Jo, um, but this is Ascenza. And like I say, I wasn't even going to talk about this, but I couldn't leave it out because it's a gorgeous discontinued fragrance. Um, yeah. And for those of you that are like, just Google you know, just Google it and figure out how to say the words. Like, I don't have time for that. I barely have time to sit down and film these videos. I work 10 hours a day. I am remote schooling my daughter. I'm basically her teacher. Um, and then every other bit of my time is filled in by filming YouTube videos for two YouTube channels. So I don't have time to sit there and Google and try and remember how to pronounce every single word properly. Like it's just not going to happen right now. So if you're somebody that gets triggered by that, then this is probably not the channel for you because I don't know how to pronounce anything. I'm literally the worst. So anyways, Aqua de Jo or Joa Ascenza from Armani. I love this. This is like a sweet, sugary, uh, like mint fragrance, but not, it's not like overly minty. You don't get that like coolness or because it's a sugared mint. It's gorgeous. I adore this. I was so glad I found this bottle a couple of years ago on Mercari. Um, it was just one of those things where it just popped up and I just saw it and like immediately, um, blind bought it. Ugh, I love it. So Aqua de Jo or Joa Ascenza from Armani. Okay, next we have, this is Guerlain Mon Exclusif and I adore this fragrance. This is very similar to the original Mon Guerlain, but this is way less lavender, way more vanilla. This has got a salted butter note in it that literally it's like, when you're smelling it, you can, it's almost got like a texture to it. It's got like a buttery texture to it. It's so beautiful. So I adore this. This is very, like I say, it is, it smells like Mangerlan. It's just like a super rich, decadent, buttery, sweet version of Mangerlan. So that is Mon Exclusif from Guerlain. Okay, next we have another Armani fragrance. This is one of my favorite amber fragrances in my collection, hands down. This is Armani C Le Parfum, and uh, I love this. This is like a black currant heavy uh, amber. It is so beautiful. It's like, it's sweet but not overly sweet. It's amber, but it's not like an overly for those of you that don't like a musty amber, this is not like a musty amber. It's a sweet, beautiful, like blackcurrant amber. It's so good. I'm so glad that one of you recommended this to me while it was in stock on FragranceNet and that I was able to pick it up because it's gotten so hard to find now that um, I almost feel bad talking about it on my channel because it's such a stunner of a fragrance and it is so hard to find. So that is Armani C Le Parfum and I do keep it in its little bag uh, just to, you know, try to preserve it a little bit more. Okay, next we have another Guerlain and I adore this fragrance. This is a men's fragrance and this, and this is a Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne and I love this. This is like a super citrusy almond fragrance. I get so many compliments on this every time I wear it. It's like a citrus heavy fragrance, but it's got this beautiful, very, very slightly powdered almond note. I love it. This works wonders with my body chemistry. It's just beautiful. It lasts a really long time for being such a citrus heavy, heavy fragrance. And like I say, I get compliments on this every time I wear it. And then when I tell people what I'm wearing, they're like, well, that's weird because I don't know. They don't expect for me to say, well, it's like a men's cologne. But anyways, this is Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne. I told you a lot of Guerlain's on this list because Guerlain has discontinued so many beautiful fragrances. Okay, next we have a Cartier fragrance, and this is Cartier Del Delices de Cartier. Um, this is the Eau de Parfum formulation, and oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is a sweet, yummy, 
gourmand fragrance. It's very sweet. I think it's got some caramel in it, if I remember correctly. It's so, so good. This is another one I'm going to really have to ration because I've got about a half a bottle left. Yeah, about a half a bottle left. And I love this bottle. I love the top. Everything about it is just so beautiful. And this was another, I think I found this one on eBay and somebody was selling it for a steal. I think I picked it up for, I think it was under $40. So, and I've been searching for it literally for at least two years now and have not been able to find a bottle at a decent price. And when I found one finally at a decent price, I snapped it up. It's so gorgeous. So that is Cartier Delices de Cartier. Okay, next I've got a couple of aliens. This would not be a discontinued list without some alien flankers. The first one is A Taste of Fragrance or The Taste of Fragrance. These popped up in the market. Like these were almost impossible to find for a couple of years and then just recently they just like started popping up on a bunch of different perfume websites so i picked mine up from one of the canadian websites i think um i can't remember which one but one of the canadian websites had it and it was like 74 bucks which i thought was a good price because you've seen people like i've seen people trying to sell this fragrance for 200 plus dollars so i went ahead and grabbed it it's a gorgeous like gourmand type it, it's a gorgeous gourmand version of Alien. It's so beautiful. And at first, I thought it was going to smell too similar to Essence Absolute, which we'll talk about next, but it doesn't. They really do. Once you smell, like, get them both on your skin and smell them side by side, they're totally different. They've all got that Alien DNA. I've never smelled an Alien that doesn't smell exactly like the original Alien, but just with some nuanced differences. Um, so they all smell like alien, but this, they do, they're different enough that I'm so happy to have them both. But yeah, this is again, like you can find it right now, but it was impossible to find until a couple months ago. And, um, I don't know how long it'll be circulating on these websites. So if you do want it, I would definitely check it out, but that is alien, the taste of fragrance. It's beautiful. And then we have got alien essence absolute. And this, this really does smell straight up like root beer. Like if you're into root beer smelling fragrances, this is for you. It is such a beautiful version of Alien. I really, really love it. The color of the liquid like says it all too, as to like gives you an idea of how it's gonna smell. It's thick, it's syrupy. It's root beer, like root beer smelling. It's got like a fizziness to it even. It's just a stunner of a flanker for Alien. I adore it. So glad I have this. I've had this for a few years now um, and it is difficult to find, but I think every once in a while you can still find them. Um, so yeah, that is Alien Essence Absolute. Okay, next we have another Guerlain. <laughs> which uh, we're getting close to the end. I know this has been a long one because I've got so many here. So this is another Guerlain and this is Shalimar Parfum Initial. This one is uh, so beautiful. This is powdery, uh, powdery, bright, citrusy, it's so beautiful. It's one of my favorite. Like, I've got so many favorite flankers of Shalimar, but this is definitely one, like, one of my really favorites. <laughs> uh, it's so good. It's just such a beautiful fragrance. This one is still out there. You can still find it. Um, some people ask way too much money for it. Now, I should tell you that this, if it hasn't been re-released yet, Guerlain is going to be re-releasing this, but it's going to be very, very expensive. Um, I think it's going to be in the $200 plus dollar range. So this version and formulation has been discontinued, but they are re-releasing it. Now, whether it's going to be reformulated, I would imagine it probably will be. Um, 
but yeah, you will be, it will be available to buy. It's just going to be very expensive because it's going to be in their more exclusive line now. But anyways, that is Shalimar Parfum in a Shell. And then last but not least is a poison flanker. And this is Midnight Poison from Dior. Um, I very luckily came across this bottle on Mercari. This is, it's about half full. So this is a gorgeous poison flanker. Very, very patchouli heavy. Slightly sweet. Ugh, beautiful. I love this fragrance so much. It's so hard to find now though. I don't know why they discontinued this. Oh my goodness, such a beautiful winter, like, like deep winter fragrance. This is dark. It really is like dark smelling. Slightly earthy, not hippie patchouli in any way and not overly medicinal either. Like all of the other notes that are in it, that are blended with this, really keep the patchouli smelling like patchouli, but not really, if that makes any sense. It's, it's an earthy type of patchouli fragrance. I love this fragrance. I was so happy when I finally found this. Um, it was another one that I had been looking for for years, and then all of a sudden one popped up on Mercari, and it was really inexpensive, like... I think I paid $40 for it. Ugh, I, I got so lucky. So anyways, that is uh, Christian Dior Midnight Poison. And that's going to be it, guys. Those are all of my favorite discontinued fragrances in my collection. I do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.